Now, since we're talking about China, you may remember this. Last month, a BBC journalist was arrested in Shanghai. The journalist was covering protests which erupted across China against the zero COVID policy and the ruling Communist Party. He was allegedly beaten up by Chinese police officers. The BBC, as any organization would, condemned China's actions swiftly. It said it was extremely concerned by the events. Several BBC journalists called out China and its authoritarian regime. They accused China of snatching away media freedom. We have no problem with this. Now let's talk about this man, Richard Pattinson. No, he's not a celebrity. He's a former BBC journalist who currently is a senior vice president of a little-known commercial wing of the BBC called the Storyworks. You must be wondering, why are we talking about a BBC commercial wing? Allow me to explain. Storyworks was established in 2015 and describes itself as a commercial content studio with newsroom values. It very much sits within the BBC studio and produces sponsored content for brands and entities. To win new clients, Storyworks depends a lot on the BBC's presumed reputation of impartiality, independent journalism and, of course, trust. From Taiwan to the Wuhan virus to suppression of rights under Xi Jinping, the BBC has been reporting on China taking on its oppression. But what if I tell you tonight that the same BBC is making money producing glossy tourism ads for China's propaganda machine? Let me break it down further. The BBC Storyworks has partnered with at least 18 Chinese clients since 2015, including state-affiliated bodies. It has produced tourism campaigns for state-owned media outlets, including CGTN, the state's mouthpiece. Interestingly, the CGTN was banned from broadcasting in the UK. CGTN serves as a cornerstone of Xi Jinping's so-called publicity front. And Storyworks is also a loyal partner to Huawei, the tech firm that has been sanctioned by both the US and the UK over national security fears. I'd like to state more facts. The BBC does not publish Storyworks earnings. The commercial unit is not mentioned in the BBC annual report. And the BBC refuses to disclose how much money Storyworks actually makes, especially from its contracts in China. Storyworks contributed nearly $360 million to BBC's overall ad revenue. And that's this year. How much of it comes from China? The BBC doesn't reveal. I'll also tell you what the BBC had to say about it. It insists that Storyworks has played by the rules. It says hosting advertising outside of the UK allows them to generate income to invest in BBC, including in their so-called independent and impartial journalism. It says commercial work is entirely separate and has no bearing on journalistic output, but reports say its own journalists are opposing contracts with the Chinese. Sources say that the BBC newsroom has voiced anxiety about doing business with Chinese state-affiliated entities. Don't these commercial ties leave the BBC open to accusations of conflict of interest, especially when it comes to its reportage on China? And this is exactly what the BBC journalist voice. But the corporation has even remained silent on why the conflict of interest concerns raised by its journalists had been ignored. So tonight... I want to call out the BBC for its duplicity, its hypocrisy. What gives it the right to position itself as the beacon of impartiality and transparency when it is taking money from the same country that it claims to condemn in its editorials? The relationship between Britain's publicly funded broadcaster and mouthpieces of Xi Jinping's hardline regime is out in the open now. Reporting on atrocities against the Uyghurs in China and working with the Chinese regime to strengthen its propaganda, if this is not duplicity at its best, then what is? Does the BBC have any right anymore to call out European MEPs, lawmakers, who are currently at the centre of a graft scandal for accepting bribes from Qatar? I ask, what is the difference between a corrupt lawmaker who condemns Qatar for its human rights record while taking bribes from the country? and a news outlet which claims to act in public interest and then takes money for ads from a country which is infecting the world. Can the BBC take a moral high ground anymore when it comes to journalism? 
When money and commercial interests come into the picture, has the BBC compromised its ethics? We ask this question and we wait for a response. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.